Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Bruce Swartz. Um, there might be some chainsaw noise. The neighbor's cutting down a tree. I got a camera on that, you never know. Uh, a good YouTube video sometimes when the neighbors around here start doing things, eh? Guys, the crescent moon, just almost the hairline moon, look at how that line of light moves over, revealing to us uh, many elevated objects. Now, no, this is not a tower because it's on the ground, right? It's crossing and longing on the surface across that line of light, though. That's what's intriguing me. This is an object beside the moon. Uh, whether it was moving or whether it was stationary, I do not know. It looked like a star, obviously, stationary, but it was doing its own little thing. And then we're going to look at the surface of the moon, the color, the possible atmosphere, clouds, hazes, dusts. We're going to go see Theophilus Crater, um, excessively... Uh, close, hundreds of percentage closer, 3D view of an original part of the moon that I cut out and, you know, different ways of looking at the architecture, can we say, can we go as far as saying the architecture on the surface, guys? This is my most amazing finding, of course, in the Southern Highlands, uh, the line of light revealing um, almost majestic glass city. Maybe not glass, but it looks like glass because it's gray. So the gray, that those objects are, have the same reflectivity as the surface. The cities are all built on top of the white areas. And incredibly, uh, upon zooming in, we can see all the, the proof and detail by the hundreds, if not thousands, of structures. So we're not talking about just one structure. The constructed objects on the surface are right there in front of us and the way they are connected is beyond complexity. It's very complex setups. That's what we're looking at. Look here, color on the surface, always color, but look at these big block like objects. We'll call them just objects, but when you look around and the way things are connected, always a bridge to a light source, that's all we'll call them, it's bright object it looks circular but when you get in close it's an actual smoke haze or cloud with a light in the center and the smoke is moving around it's making everything oscillate not just the um you know we say the whole moon oscillates but when you look there's individual uh, wavelengths that are oscillating at different times as to all together do you understand separated 
pockets of different wavelengths, all oscillating together at different rates and times. The setups and structures, the complex setups, industrial-like setups and structures, are underneath a haze. People are not interested because it's blurry, as they say. Well, when you, in reality, we're looking at very clear structures um, underneath, amongst this dust, haze, cloud. There are too many objects that are square and symmetrical. Even here, that white one to the left there. Uh, well, first of all, here, look at that black line, a straight line. Also, that white light there that you see on the left, well, they ha it has straight edges. And no, in no way it's pixelation. It's a very clear photo. We could see there's a haze over the surface. By descending the exposure, that simply, we could see the colors appear. We could see the different objects. And it really shows us the different layers at elevated and descending levels, layers, you know, the, the terrain in general. And there is a definite smoke that is around that are like all these pipes. They're some kind of a cloud or smoke or mist around it. Could it be even those pipes or corridors or lines that we are seeing? Maybe that's what even is doing all the smoke on the surface. Again, we're just hypothetically speaking here. This is Theophilus Crater to the left, Cyrilus right here in the center. Um, watch, we're gonna try to get in close. And of course, I'm warning you right now, we're looking at, you can see the atmosphere moving over for Pete's sakes, okay? The closer we get in, of course it's gonna be blurry, but we're still seeing detail. I know most of you appreciate it, and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Thanks for watching, everyone. <music>